Hello again, Steve from the Car Key Man. We're going to show you how to fix Hyundai and Kia flip keys today. You can do it yourself, but you need to be confident with tools and you need to have a spare key before you do it that works. And we're going to show you why you need a spare key in a bit. Okay, so we're looking at this uh, Hyundai key today. It's got a really typical problem where you flip out and then the blade flies off and the reason it does that is because this hinge part here is broken and so we we're going to uh, instead of having to replace the whole key we're going to recase it today and put it into a new case and so we found the best way to open these up is with a set of these a circlet pliers and you give them a squeeze and they open if you don't know what they are and so we pop them into that gap there when we can, like that. there we go, and give them a squeeze, you don't have to be rough, just give them a squeeze and eventually the case opens up, as you can see, and uh, give it a squeeze, and that's what you got. Okay, so starting with the circuit board then, this should just pull out, so put that to one side, and then we'll get rid of that piece. Okay, so it's important that we just stop a minute. We're going to get the chip out of the case now. If you haven't got a spare key, you shouldn't be doing this because if the chip breaks, your car will not start and you will be stranded. Okay, so the transponder chip is here and it's under a plastic insert, so we need to get that off. Normally this is really tight. We've loosened it up, so you might need to dig that out a bit. So that's the bit that needs to be removed out of the way now and just here is an electronic chip now that needs to come out of the case and unfortunately the case is full of super glue so you cannot just pull it out we get a solder iron and we where the logo is there we start to melt away the back of it and in the hope that we can then push the chip through okay and on this occasion look at that you can see the chip's just fallen out because uh, it's been pushed through from the back of the key. Now, that's really quite unusual. They're normally a lot more uh, set in than this. The glue on okay. there as well. And as Simon was saying there, if we hold it up, there, there's normally a whole load of glue. You can see a little bit on there. So that's how today we've got the chip out of there. Okay, so these are all the pieces we're going to put back together as a kit. We've taken it all apart so you can see what you get. And we're going to build the kit up now and show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to do is pop this chip into this gap. This is the first part of the case. And you just want to pop a little bit of super glue or something in there. Watch your fingers. Don't, don't uh, stick your fingers together or something like we normally do. But, and then we're going to pop the chip in. It goes a certain way around. There's only one way it goes in. Okay, and if it goes in a bit of a funny angle, just press it down and then that will glue into there. Okay, and that's the first stage. Okay, next thing, pop your insert into there. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly. Press it down. Okay, so that's covering over the chip now. Okay, so this circuit board's in good condition. You've got a couple of cutouts, one here and one there, and they locate inside the case so that well, there's only one way it goes in. So that's that fine, all done. Okay, so you've got two choices. You can either get the, this new blade cut from this pattern, or you can take this blade out and put this blade into there um, to save you getting the key cut. The only thing is, you've got a pin here that needs to come out and that's tight and then when you pull this blade out of here it's very tight so uh, just go easy when you pull it out and try not to damage the hinge okay now one of the problems with taking your old blade out and putting it into an aftermarket case is that this hole here if you look through it you should be able to see through it and you can't because oh sorry I keep moving you can't because this groove here 
is in the wrong place. Okay, so if you want to try and save some money and not get your key cut, you need to alter this groove to so that when it goes into here, it lines up. Okay, hopefully you can see now as you slide that in, that all lines up. And that's what you'll need to do if you want to transfer your blade over. Okay, so once they're lined up, you can knock the pin in and now we're good to get it all back together. Okay, first things first then, this button needs to go back into this hinge. Um, there's only one way it will go in, so it's just a case of trying it until it drops through. And when it got it in the right place, you'll see it come out the bottom. And then you need to put the spring in. There's two ends and it should be pretty obvious which end has to go in. Okay, so that's what you got. Okay, so we're going to start putting the case back together now. So you've got a plastic spigot there and you want to pop the spring over the top of that spigot and then wind the spring round. Yeah, that's a bit clumsy. I'm a bit clumsy on film. There we go. So that's now all back together. Next thing is to take the case cover and pop it over the top and that should crack shut. Okay, so you know that it's properly shut. And just test the flip before you do anything else. And that flips out. Then before you start screwing it all together, pop a battery in. And pop the cover on. And then go and test it on your car. Yeah, so the last thing is to put the screw in. Do it up. Okay, not too tight so you don't strip the plastic. And that is all done. So with a uh, three-button Kia repair case that flicks out, you're good to go.